Hello, um, it's uh, me again. Uh, I am uh, doing, uh, this is the interactive uh, Bible study uh, segment 7, I believe, of Matthew. Um, uh, and uh, I'd recommend uh, if you, because I, I, am, I, I am relatively uh, new and young in my faith, uh, recently coming back to, to the faith, uh, 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 to, to, to God, uh, I would recommend um, going to uh, MRC, uh, it's on my channel, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, he's a, a pastor out of Ohio, and he's a very in-depth and very prolific uh, Bible study uh, that I would recommend. Um, but uh, this is uh, Matthew 4. Uh, 12 through 17, uh, Jesus begins his work. When Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he went to Galilee. But instead of staying in Nazareth, Jesus moved to Capernaum. This town was beside Lake Galilee in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali. So God's promise came true, just as the prophet Isaiah had said. Listen, lands of Zebulun and Naphtali, lands across the road to the sea and east of the Jordan. Listen, Galilee, land of the Gentiles. Although your people live in darkness, they will see a bright light. Although they live in the shadow of death, a light will shine on them. Then Jesus started preaching, turn back to God. The kingdom of heaven will soon be here. Um, I... When I think of God, when I think of Jesus, I think of a light. Um, the dark darkness was also uh, um, uh, was all, also used as a synonym of being in the thrall of sin, uh, being in the thrall of uh, possibly Satan, or being in the thrall of sin. And when you're in darkness, it, it's it's very suffocating. It's very very um I guess suffocating is the best word uh to describe it and um and I mean that's what Jesus does I mean a lot of people uh think uh that the light is I mean some pe some people I don't know the light is uh I mean in the light everything is laid bare I mean, you see all the sins, and you see what your life has become. Uh, but that is a very healing uh, thing. Um, once you realize that you are a sinner, and even even now, it's still hard to admit that. Um, you can change with God's help. I mean, if you don't realize where you are and how bad you are. On a conscious level, you'll never be able to change, and uh, and that's what the light does. Uh, uh, at least for me, and um, oh, I hmm, I have uh, I have some more time. I think I'll do uh, uh, the next section uh, for eighteen uh, through for twenty five. Jesus chooses four fishermen. While Jesus was walking along the shore of Lake Galilee, he saw two brothers. One was Simon, also known as Peter, and the other was Andrew. They were fishermen, and they were casting their net in the lake. Jesus said to them, Come with me, and I will teach you how to bring in people instead of fish. Right then the two brothers dropped their nets and went with him. Jesus walked on until he saw James and John, the sons of Zebedee. They were in a boat with their father, many of their nets. Jesus asked them to come with him too. Right away they left the boat and their father and went with Jesus. And I have to have to say right here, I've been questioning, like, wh would I? What am I doing to help Jesus? I mean, helping people find the clothes they want. I mean, uh, at my work, might be part of it. Giving good customer service. I, 
I mean, there are, there's a lot of bad customer service out there. There's a lot of people who just don't care about their fellow man. And I care. Um, I mean, my, preacher, uh, my pastor says that uh, you're a minister everywhere you are. And, uh, but sometimes I just feel like I would like to give up everything and follow him. I mean, I do, uh, but then doubt comes in and worry comes in. I mean, how will I support myself? Uh, how, uh, I mean, I've lived uh, in one place for my entire life. Um, all those doubts, all those questions. And I mean, I can just imagine, I mean, when you're in the presence of Jesus, all the doubts, all the fear goes away. And um, I mean, it, but I mean, we don't have Jesus with us. We have the Holy Spirit, but it's harder to overcome the doubts and the fears. But, I mean, uh, I mean, Peter left his livelihood, his fishing, to join Jesus. And James and John uh, left boat, their, both their fishing boat and their father, their family. And I'm sure a lot of these probably have, have lived in uh, the Galilee region the, their entire life. And just to get up and leave. I want to, but I don't know if I, I'm... And the thing is, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm ready. And, uh, but the thing is, I mean, I want to. I mean, I love Peter. I mean, I love Jesus, but I mean, Peter is one of my favorite disciples. And I mean, he, I mean, if you look, I mean, he, like th throughout, I mean, both Matthew and Mark and Luke and John, and uh, where he uh, doubted, uh, 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 well, some of, uh, uh, some of the abilities and things that uh, Jesus could do. And even at the end, uh, he denied him, th uh, denied Jesus uh, three times. And, uh, but yet he went on to help start the church, and uh, I mean he he is a very, he he is an inspiration. I think this is where I'm going to uh, leave it. Well, actually, just a little bit more. Matthew four, uh, twenty three to twenty five. Uh, Jesus went all over Galilee, teaching in the Jewish meeting places and preaching the good news about God's kingdom. He also healed every kind of disease and sickness. News about him spread all over Syria. Actually, I think I'm going to stop this right here and do that segment a little later because I, I don't think two minutes can do it justice. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, a question I want to leave with here is, if you feel a calling, would you be willing to give everything up? Would you be willing to give up job security, financial security, um, American Idol, uh, television, cable TV, uh, the internet, uh, all the pleasures and niceties of life? Would you be willing to give that up? Could you give that up? Uh, I'm uh, battling with that right now. Um, so just think of that, and if you want to uh, post your video response, uh, they're more than welcome. Take care, guys.